Hey everyone, welcome to Daily Dose of Medicine. In this video, I will quickly summarize pyloric stenosis. Pylor is the area that is connecting lower portion of the stomach to the small intestine. In pyloric stenosis, around here, the muscles will be enlarged and that will prevent food to move in to the small intestine. And we generally see this condition around the third and six weeks after the birth. And this condition more common in firstborn males. And the most characteristic symptom is projectile non-bilious vomiting. What is non-bilious? Non-bilious means without the presence of bile. And in pyloric stenosis, there is a palpable olive-shaped mass in epigastric region. In lab results, after the blood test, we will see hypochloremic, hypokalemic alkalosis. That means the chlor and potassium will be low because of the vomiting. And erythromycin use in infants is associated with this condition. And pyloric stenosis is a birth defect. This means that your child is born with it. And the most serious problem about this condition is dehydration because when a baby vomits regularly, he or she will not get enough fluids to meet his or her nutritional needs. Babies have smaller bodies than adults and cannot tolerate losing fluid as easily as adults can. And the signs are vomiting after feeding, persistent hunger, dehydration, changes in bowel movements, and weight problems. In order to diagnose it, we generally use ultrasound. It is cheaper, it is helpful in this condition, and it will show thickened, lengthened pylorus. If the results of the ultrasound are not clear, the doctors might use x-ray. And the treatment is surgical incision and often called as pyloromyotomy. And this problem unlikely to reoccur. Babies who have undergone the surgery should have no long-term effects from it. And that is the end of the video. And if you find it helpful, please consider liking, commenting, and sharing with your friends. Take care.